Right, so I don't know, um, we just watched that Rocket one, which was really cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of this bloke, but this guy's called Colin Furs. He's absolutely brilliant. He's, he invents on all these crazy things. So I've, I found where it's, um, it's not um, the, the Rocket thing, but he's got a semi-auto potato gun cannon, uh, which just looks mental. So I thought we'd put, I'd put that on, see what you guys think of that one. Quite, quite, quite. He's actually very entertaining as well. Colin, we want you to put the most epic potato launcher on your wonderful screw tank. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Way up, internet. So, I've been making a homemade screw tank. There are lots of videos on the channel. I've seen I'm this. Check, check it out. There's He's got some brilliant videos. I do. Now, this thing is awesome. It crawls up hills, it goes through swamps. I love it, but it doesn't have. You've seen me before. Yeah. He's really good. Oh yeah, he's 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 building a underground. He built an underground bunker in his back garden, which is just awesome. Uh, and now he's building an underground car park in the front of his house. Um, so I can't wait to get more updates on that. One. That's, that should be really good. He built a car with a, a water car. What? He built a water car jacuzzi. Right. I don't think I've seen that one. What? Well, have a defense system and that's what we need to sort out now this project does have a sponsor in world of tanks if you go and check them out uh no i didn't uh i didn't see his tv tank. series i didn't realize i didn't realize he had a tv series and seven days premium access but after playing that game it was a couple of years ago right okay you i didn't realize that you either a flamethrower or a potato launcher you don't find flamethrowers on tanks but they do launch stuff but they don't just launch one thing no they launch multiple things so we're gonna make a potato launcher. Never played World of War tanks. Sort of Is it any good? System, so you can be like, doo, 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 doo. Yes. That, yes. All right. That is the way forward. Yeah. Not played it for ages. Oh, okay. This is a potato gun. It must be air powered, I'm guessing. I mean, he's got some like 10 million subscribers, so he must make quite a lot. I don't know what exactly it is that he makes, but it must be a fair, fair bit for like 10 million subscribers. He's more like a, a jet propulsion fan than a, a rocket launcher. Did I use a TIG welder? No, I never used any, weld, any welding device. Um, but maybe, I, uh, maybe a bit arrogant of me to say this, but I feel that if I were to use a MIG welder or TIG welder, I'd be really good at it really quickly, like almost uh, pro straight off the bat. I'm most probably completely wrong. It doesn't work. It's the most over-engineered potato launcher the internet has ever seen. So we've got a gas bottle, got a regulator, so we've got constant pressure. Comes around here, into a solenoid valve, down through the pipe, out over the fan, mixy, 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 and then a piezo unit, push a button, bang, out goes potato. Right, let's go and give it a test. I would love to have a go at welding though, yes. That's a potato. She works. So how's it automatic the house? Because he has to load it manually every time, doesn't he? I've not seen potatoes like that before. All right, then she works. We're not happy with it in its current guise. It needs to be semi-automatic. It needs to load itself. It needs to have that little bit of a first touch. Okay, so this is the plan. I've got another uh, ring with a load of bolts welded onto it. So we're going to chop off this cone thing. Because unfortunately now this is our enemy. Because what I want to try and do is mount two linear actuators either side of the barrel. The barrel? That's my mum. The barrel. And we want to be able to deploy the barrel out. 
a potato nugget drops in and then it push back in, crush it into its own shape and therefore seal it in and then pish, pash, posh, off it goes. So we need to be able to go... And hopefully it'll sound like that. So then, weld you on the end. Weld you up against the barrel. Make he is really smart. And what, maybe make a little bush... Um, the thing to slide he into. was a plumber originally he was trying thing. to be a plumber i think well, i think i'll just do it and then you can look at it afterwards and go oh that's what he meant you wish you could do things like this yeah i'd love to do stuff like it would be thinking of the ideas that he comes up with that i most probably struggle with if that makes sense A 3D printer. An FDM printer. Ooh. Oh, FDM is really good for different uh, applications. I um I used uh, resin in my 3D printers. You get a much higher level of detail with that. Really strong stuff though. Really strong stuff. Well, the stuff I use is really strong. How's things going with the workshop? Um, good. Uh, nearly all done. It's nearly all emptied now. There's virtually nothing left. Uh, lathe went yesterday. If I just uh, connect the battery, I'll oh, check this out. Ah, oh, doing yourself proud there, haven't you, first? Yes, so that's going to move out. Potato pellet's going to drop down, and then when it comes back, it will kind of crush it a bit more, and then it will form a nice seal. And it will squeeze itself in there nicely. That is the plan. But what we need, we need like a little... Yeah, the lathe are gone, thing. all machines are gone. All the potatoes in to drop um, them and then off to go and get fired. <laughs> just uh, the wooden drawers left. And uh, that's it. Basically uh, turning it into a small home gym. So, so not much left to do. Um, he did a few things, yeah, he, he did some hydro farming, uh, which was really cool to see. What's hydro farming? Uh, you get two pieces of metal, uh, weld them together so there's no holes, and then you pump uh, high pressure water into it and it forms any kind of shape and you know, it blows up like a balloon well, into the shape be. of the metal. You roll down at the hopper, it'll hold six shots. And it lands on this little plate thing here, this little upturn. I was going to have a little semicircle, but of course, when the barrel gets pulled towards it, it kind of cores it again and flakes these little bits off the side here like that. Now, of course, if I had it in a little semicircle thing, the flaked bits off the side would be in there. And then when the barrel goes back, they'd just be sat in there. The next one would come down, it wouldn't be in the right place. So I've got an upright bit so it can split it off and then it can all just fall out the way. Now these little um, spliny bits on the side here, they're so when this comes and gets cored, it splits that into at least two or four bits, then the whole lot can just dribble out. Now then, is it gonna work multiple times? I don't know. Is it gonna seal up against there? I don't know. Might have to make that bit a little bit stronger because it's bending slightly under the strain, but at the moment it seems to be just about coping. Now, the next what potatoes uh, is he step using? In the old equation is how you're going to control all this, Colin. You've got a lot going on here. You've got linear actuators, gas valves, piezos, solenoids, timings, all sorts of things. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I've got to learn some nerd code. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've had to teach myself how to do this, hence why the video is, is a week late. So, got an Arduino. We've got five relays. Now the advantage of this is they're all programmed and timed. So push of one button, the actuators go out for a set amount of time, the potato will drop in. And then of course it will pull back for a set amount of time until it's loaded up. And then the gas valve opens exactly for the amount of time we want. Now that is the crucial bit. We could have done the in out bit of the power. I, I am, it is very impressive that he's all self-taught. Time down to the millisecond, how long that valve can be open. We can always make sure that we get the perfect amount of gas in. So let's uh, let's go and see if all it this is impressive. Works, there's a lot to test here. Have you guys have you guys seen Colin Furs before? See, this is his underground bunker. Oh. 
entrance to it. Have you guys seen him? Yeah. Oh, so a few, few of you know who he is then, right? You, you may have seen this already then. If you have apologies. No idea why I didn't consider doing it down here before. Right, got a match just down the end there to stop the mess. Let's have a go. Ah! God, that's a bit of a kick. <laughs> Jesus. Look at it, it's blew a hole through my mattress. Oh, that's me wanting to not make any mess. Uh. Oh, look. Thought that was the sugar beet. It's the it's a bit of the mattress. It's cored its own mattress thing out. Okay, gas amount, perfect. I've had to change the actuators for some more stronger ones because they weren't quite coring the uh, sugar beet properly. And also the shape... Oh, it's not potatoes he's using, it's sugar beet. Side, ...and then they just cored a bit out like that. So I'm thinking... Right, that makes more sense. ...something round like an apple, and we'll give a potato a shot because I think now I've seen this, they might actually work all right. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right, come on. You're going to drop down. Yeah! <laughs> it's coming back for the reload. Oh, yes. Come on, Just come on. Up. Ready to move? <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. It's all dropping out of the bottom nicely. It's all caught itself. Excellent! Yes! There we are! That's Loads, a bit... Reloads itself, clears itself out, primes itself, smack, bang, off it goes. Brilliant. Now... Oh, ah! <laughs> right, just need to get some slightly faster uh, linear actuators, somewhere in the middle, because they're too slow, the other ones weren't powerful enough. Boom! Let's get it mounted on the tank, and then we hopefully should have the ultimate homemade screw tank. Now, don't forget the sponsor, World of Tanks, they've made all this happen. There's, you know, there's a lot I don't know where to give World of Tanks a go. 500 odd tanks. You should do. There's even more than that. Yeah, there's I tried the Battleship one, that was alright. It's a massive open world, all the terrains, you know. Click link in the description, Tanktastic, get your free stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, I think you got yourself a nice little potato thing. Oh man. Right, well there you are. That's uh, that's that then. Um, I think it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, he did the. Um, if you just just above me here, uh, he did. He fabricated a proper metal land speeder. And that was really cool. Uh, I've got to admit that was that was pretty. I'm. Shall, shall we watch that one next? Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll stick that one on then.